Okay, everybody, so I've got the nib that I ordered on eBay from Israel. And I did, sadly, make the realization that it's not going to work for me. Now, that's not entirely true. It, um, it would work for me if I did not mind having a capless pen or maybe jury rigging a cap out of a cardboard tube like I did with the Esterbrook um, CX100. But, honestly though, I, I just, no, I don't have that kind of patience. So I've got to decide if I'm going to buy myself a Waterman Expert that needs a nib, or if I'm just going to sell this nib. So I don't have the patience or the energy to mess with it. So there's the barrel the uh, section, I mean, the nib itself, and I'm uh, drying these because I have them sitting in some soapy water. And then here is the feed. Now, what's different about it? And of course I've already gone and, man, when will I learn? I've already re-inked my um, Phileas with it. I took the cartridge out and made a mess on myself again. Fortunately, the sink is far from permanent on human skin, so it's not a big deal. Pardon my uh, scratch there. Okay, so I'm just going to get messy. It's there's no two ways. So here's the section for the Phileas. You know, it would have been uh, better if I had just gone ahead and rinsed all this off in the sink again. But, you know me. There's the feed for the Phileas. And I can tell just from that shot that it's bigger. And then finally, the actual nib from the Phileas. Okay. So they actually almost fit. But if you look at them, move some of this stuff out of my way. If you look at them, you can tell that there are some minor differences. All right, it would help if I showed the same angle. Of course, once I finally get them both over here, that's when the phone decides to go out of focus, right? So one is round, the other is uh, mostly round with a flat on one side. The, uh, what I'm assuming is an expert on the left, is straighter than the Phileas. I mean, the Phileas is actually nib-shaped. The expert is just a kind of a triangle. Come on, Samsung. I don't care about the background. I hate this phone. The sections are actually very, very similar, as one would expect for two models of the same make. But they are not identical. I suspect that the Expert has actual gold plating. I do not know if the Waterman is gold plated or just gold tone. The threads have the same pitch, 
but the threads on the phileus are a little bit larger diameter. And we're talking almost not even measurable. But you can feel it. Let's see if I can get these lined up. There you go. You can. Come on. There you go. You can see there the uh, section on the right is for the expert, and it is by a hair smaller than the phileus. So I had another wild thought. Why not just take the feed and nib from the expert and fit it into the phileus section? And that almost worked, and I'm not going to put it back in here because uh, I've got all this ink in here right now. But the way the phileus is made, the nib only came out by that far. So it was like, you know, not even worth the effort. And I uh, was afraid that I was going to lose the nib in, the, in that section because uh, I couldn't get it out at first. And there, was, there wasn't anything for me to grab onto. So the other option came, well, why don't I see if the nib itself will fit the other feed? And it does. Almost. Unfortunately, almost only counts in hand grenades, and it's not going to cut it with a fountain pen nib. I could try to flatten it out a little bit, but it still wouldn't look right, and the angle at which I'd have to write with it, I'd, I would constantly be dragging the feed on the paper at the angle at which I write. So, this will not work for me, unfortunately. That said, if uh, any of you are in the market for an expert nib, hit me up. I did, however, notice this. I thought it was just dirty at first, but that is uh, that is pitting, probably from using an incompatible ink, not rinsing it off properly. It's almost like my lens is dirty. But yeah, that's um that's like pitting from a chemical ink or um I don't know, running it through a dishwasher. <laughs> Go figure. Um so no, I cannot use this nib. I cannot use really anything to do with it so um, I'm going to wind up either looking for a pin on eBay to match it that needs a nib or I'll just uh, polish this one up nice and clean and pop it onto eBay myself because there really is I've, I've already inked it I've uh, put my cartridge on here and written with it and it writes very similarly to my Phileas it just has a narrower line. And that's honestly what I was looking for. I was looking for that narrow line. I don't like how broad my Phileas writes. And if, if I'd have known anything when I bought the pen, I would have bought a fine point. Although I doubt they even offered it because, well, gee, everybody with fountain pens wants to write with a really broad line. No, we don't. I want to use my fountain pen at work. I want to be able to actually take notes in college and whatnot. Well, I'm not now. I'm not in college anymore. But, I mean, if I was, I would want to be able to take my pen that I just paid 40 bucks for and use it instead of just trying to make pretty calligraphy with it, which this is not a calligraphic pen anyway. So, anyway, that's uh, pretty much it. I can't use it. So, I'm either going to buy a pen that needs a nib or sell the nib. A little bit of a disappointment, but at least I'm finally over it. So, until next time.
Let's get back into Crystal Radio.